Hi, I'm Marie Eldridge with Leone West, and we're going to demonstrate for you the spinning wave. The spinning wave creates this design. This has worked on a 12 inch block, so you can get to the outer edges of a 12 inch block. And it's a wave design that repeats like a star sunburst. And you can work it from the center, you can work it from corners. You can also use this shape to create a beautiful border design. Okay, I could also have something in the center of here yes. and then just have these wave come in to That's my right. applique yes. or my other design, is that That's right? It. Exactly. Okay, I'm excited to see how this one works. Again, we're starting with a uh, crosshair reference line, so I've used the crosshair ruler to mark eight reference lines on here. We've brought the threads up. We're going to stitch a wave, and that wave will come along here. The wave is the same on both sides of the ruler, so we've got an inside wave to stitch against or an outside wave to stitch against. And these two different waves work beautifully if we want to create a wave on a border that comes here and here. So you'd use one side of the wave for this side and one for the other. This one we're just going to stitch the wave and I'm going to line it up using the stitch line just in there. So that's lining up with my reference line. I'm going to stitch out to the edge and then stitch back in. When we get to the edge, we'll stop and we'll come back into the center. Stop at the center, rotate the template, line up that line again. This is only going to give us eight waves, but we can go 16 waves, as many waves as you wish, and back to center. And I like that double stitching, it defines it. I like the double stitching, it gives more definition as you said. And back out again. And back to centre. Stop in the middle and rotate to the next one we want. This little curve here on the template rests around the edge of the foot, which makes it easy to keep things always locating back to that center point. And we have the sure foot on there, so it's a little higher. I think it kind of holds it a little better. So why don't we stitch a few and then we'll come back and show some things you can do with this. Okay, so on your sample, you had a lot of lines in there. But I'm looking at this and thinking, I could totally do feathers. I see feathers everywhere. <laughs> Go for it. Put some All feathers right, in for let's me. Let's see what that, sit, just see what that does. All right, so I'm going to do in between here because we have two kind of built out. But I want this one to have room for feathers and this one to have room for feathers. So. I'm just going to kind of do both sides at the same time. All right, here will be the trick, is doing this side, right? Probably I would uh, draw a little line there, but maybe they look good just kind of wove all together. What do you think? Very pretty. I think if you had some close lines, like the ones on your sample, you could add all kinds of different... Oh, that was fun. That's pretty. We did good together. Okay, again, what's the name of this one? This is a spinning wave. The spinning wave.
It's a great, oh, I think there's gonna be a lot of things you can do with this.